Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So just so I can correct you in case you are raising your eyebrows right now, there is nothing wrong with your speakers and there's nothing wrong with your ears, there's just something wrong with my voice. I apparently woke up this morning and had completely lost my voice and throughout the day it's been coming back slowly but surely so I just didn't want to let another day pass though without me filming this video only because I know I'm about to rip into this stuff as soon as I can and I really wanted to keep everything kind of more in the original packaging and everything like that for this video. I am here just gonna suck it up and hopefully I don't sound completely awful and you guys can still understand me but what I have today is a haul video. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or on Snapchat or on any other social media you'll know that I was at the makeup show this weekend in Dallas, Texas. This is my first time ever going to the makeup show or any other kind of makeup convention, you know, stuff like that. And I had an amazing time and I'm so glad that I went. Only because it is really such a place to be if you are in this industry. Not only if you're a makeup artist, but I mean if you are just a makeup lover and you're able to go to these things, you know that this is just pure heaven. I literally thought I died and went to makeup heaven. And honestly, like... I'm pretty sure this is just a given, but the biggest part about it that is the best part about it is the fact that there is such an insane discount on a lot of great lines and different brands and products. Stuff that you hear about all the time hyped up on social media, that you see all the time here on YouTube. So I finally was able to get my hands on some things that I have been really wanting to for a long time, but I just kept holding off and holding off and holding off only because I didn't really want to justify me spending my money for it and now that I was at this place and at this event and they were giving out really great discounts I was finally able to get my hands on a lot of goodies that I've been wanting for a really long time. So as you can tell from the title of this video this is a haul from the makeup show and everything that I got from there. I don't want to say I went too crazy because I'm pretty sure I could have done a lot more damage but you know, I can say no and I know when to stop. So I'm going to try to go through this as fast as I can and I'm probably just going to do it by each vendor that I went to. I'm not going to do it by categories because it's just going to take too long and they're already in their bags. So, so I have my camera macchiato and yeah, let's uh, get started. So the first thing that I'm going to show you that I went to, because I don't remember what was the first place, no, you know what, I do remember the first place I stopped at. The first booth that I stopped at was NYX because I was just excited, they had a really nice setup. Number one thing that I learned <laughs> from this makeup show is they give a lot of unnecessary bags. I came home with so many bags, which is great, don't get me wrong, because I'm going to be able to use them for different things. but. I mean, you could go buy one thing from somewhere and they're going to give you this huge tote bag that you can like reuse, but like I said, not complaining, good for groceries and other shopping. So I went to NYX, yay, and I'm glad I got this bag actually because it's really cute. I really want one of those NYX mirrors or chairs, but you know, oh well. So the first thing I got there was actually something that I, I didn't buy, it was for free. Um, they had this really, really cool setup going on where if you took a picture wearing the new lipstick that they're about to launch, then you got one for free. So I of course took a picture with it, selfie that, and hashtagged it with your appropriate hashtags, and I got one. And it is the lipstick that I am wearing in that picture, uh, if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw it. And it is the new NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. So these are comparable to all the other liquid li <laughs> these are comparable to all the other liquid lipsticks out there right on the market. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lips, the Dose of Colors, um, what else? Slime Crime, all those. So I just wanted to compare NYX quality to the other ones. Um, from what I could tell from everybody that was like putting on their color and what they wanted to wear for their picture, um, it's a little different as far as the finish for each shade, of course. Um, sometimes some go on a little bit more pigmented than others. So the color that I tried on and that I wanted to get is it's called Sway, and it's just a straight up pastel purple. So it has a doe foot applicator that's really, really flat, and here is the color. Hopefully it's going to come out really well here. So it's just like a really, really more on the light side of a cool tone purple. It's not super fuchsia. There's, I mean, I wouldn't really say there's much pink in this at all. It is straight up purple, but like a light, light purple, not dark purple. So number one thing about this that I did notice, and from a lot of the matte, because I got a lot of these actually, a lot of types of these liquid lipsticks, they take a really long time to dry. I will say that the Anastasia Beverly Hill ones 
are the fastest drying but once this is dry it is completely matte it's not going to move around and I was just kind of wondering how that was going to work too because I do own some of the NYX matte soft cream matte lipsticks I think that's what it's called but they stay creamy they don't ever dry these are dry and they completely are matte and they are staying but those other ones are cream so they kind of wipe off they just have a flat finish but I was really, really excited because I saw these not too long ago somewhere on Instagram and I was like, I could not wait for these to come out and I'm glad that I got one early on. I believe they come out really soon first on the NYX website and then they'll hit stores. Also from NYX, I got a bunch of lip liners because they were on sale. So I got them at a really, really good price and you can never have too many lip, cut lip liners. Well, actually, you can't have too many, so I got kind of the basic shades that I would need. I never have been a huge uh, user of lip liners. Up until recently, I've started to get really into them, and I use them a lot more now for my clients than I have before in the past. So I wanted to get my hands on some more shades to complement their lipsticks. So I got some basic shades here and some fun ones, too. I did replace, like, a mauve colored one. Where are the names on these things? Okay, so this one's called Tangerine. I should open these. Okay, so now they're all opened. So let's, let's see the shades here. So the first shade I got is called Peekaboo Neutral. It is a really, really, almost like a soft mauve shade, kind of really similar to the one that I usually wear all the time. I think that was just straight up called Pale Mauve. This one is called Peekaboo Neutral, and I really like it. It'll go with a lot of different lip colors. This one is more on the deeper side of a red. It's more of like a brick red, and this one is called Auburn. So there you go, really appropriately named. So there is Auburn. As you can tell, it's a really, really deep, rich brick red. I also got a softer pink because I do not have this kind of pink in my lip liner collection right now. This is called Dolly Pink. Um, it's just a straight up baby pink. And then here we go with Tangerine once more. This is a really soft peach color. Tangerine is right there in the middle between the suede lipstick and the other lip liner. And then this one's a fun one because I really, really look forward to using this to do some ombre lips with. And this one is very dark. It's called Brown Black. So it is a super dark lip liner. I think it's essential. We all need it. And there you go. That's Brown Black. Also, probably double as an eyeliner, you know? Really excited I finally got some more lip liners because I've been meaning to stock up on different shades for a long time. And I'm glad I held off because I got these at a really, really good price. Okay. I did go to Crown Brush. If you guys like Morphe brushes, you know, those type of lines that they're really good quality brushes, but they're not super expensive. They're really comparable to like matte quality. Crown Brush is one of those kind of lines. They have a super huge, big, wide array of brushes, all really good quality. I have some already in my kit and in my collection. I really wanted to get a few though that I was lacking. I did already use them, so I'm just kind of taking it out of the bag and repurposing the bag for this. So, one of the brushes I got is the Fan Brush. Um, oh, actually, this isn't from Crown. I think I just threw it in there. This is from Stolazi. So, it was in the Crown bag. Oops, my bad. This is a Fan Brush. I actually couldn't find one of these at Crown Brush. It was just not the exact um, width that I wanted, and they were too, too thick for my liking. So, yeah, this one is from Stolazi. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's just their Fan Brush. I actually did use it today to apply my highlight, and I really, really liked it. Really soft, natural hair brush. And then this one is from Crown Brush. This is the C467 Precision Eye Detail. So even though it's considered more of like a concealer eye detail brush, you can definitely still use it for the eyes. The reason I got this was for the lips. I have some actually from Crown Brush already. They're like these little bullets. You guys have seen me use them on my videos before. I just don't really feel like they apply the kind of pressure that I want them to apply. They're not as stiff as I would like for them to be. So I wanted something that had a little bit more precision, which is why I got this one because it's nice and pointed. So I could just really like go in there and really get a nice clean lip application. I did use this again. I'd use it today and it worked out really, really well. So I'm glad with this. The brushes range from like two to like eleven dollars, maybe fifteen max, like max. So they're really good prices. And then one last thing I got from Crown Brush was, and I had been wanting to get one for a while, and I'm glad again that I held off. It is a brush belt. Not necessarily what I want to wear because I don't really like to work out of, you know, my hip. <laughs> but it's just so I can have my brushes standing up in the case because 
Um, it just helps me when I'm making house calls and working on clients as opposed to having my brush holders, the cup kinds, because I'm kind of sometimes like looking for a brush and this one has them just all lined out perfectly. I just prop it up in my kit. Um, it has, I don't know how many slots it has, but you can fit a bunch of brushes. This is actually the biggest one they had. This one was $15, so it's like a leather type material, so really, really happy I finally got one of those too. So I went to NARS there, and I will say that I got to hit up a lot of the lines that I regularly shop at or have been curious about before, um, but some of the lines didn't have as great as a discount. I will say right off the bat, I didn't get anything from Anastasia Beverly Hills because it was still kind of retail price, so I didn't really see the point in spending money at the show on Anastasia products when I can just get them here at my local Macy's or Ulta or Sephora. So um, I was kind of afraid that NARS didn't do the same thing, but they actually had a really good discount. It was 30% off. Um, so I don't think you can ever find that kind of discount on NARS, you know, as a regular customer. So they have this really cool bag for their 20th anniversary, which I thought was awesome. It's just like this canvas material with this black silver print. I only got one thing from NARS because I just didn't really need a lot from NARS at the time <laughs> or at the moment. And it's an eyeliner. I did want to replace the current nude eyeliner that I got. So this one is um, just a plain nude eyeliner. This is the Rue Bonaparte. And it's just your basic creamy, beigey eyeliner. I have been using the NYX Wonder Pencil, but I do see that it doesn't last as long on the waterline as I would like it to. And it just isn't as pigmented as I want. I really have to go over it with a few layers of of the NYX Wonder Pencil to get a nice uh, pigmented coat. So with this one, it's very, very creamy and you're gonna see it probably from here too. So it is right here, the Rue Bonaparte. Hopefully I can zoom in closer. So it is right here, Rue Bonaparte. Ooh, the swatches look awful already. <laughs> and that was it, that's all that I got from NYX, so nothing really too exciting there. Didn't do much shopping there because even though they had discount, it's still kind of pricey. So next, I did stop at Lady Moss also. They were there too, which I was really excited about because, and it's going to be a little contradictory to why I stopped there in the first place, Lady Moss is the only place that I see sells cocoa lashes, and they did have cocoa lashes there. So I finally got to see some cocoa lashes in person, but I was a little disappointed, only not because of the quality or the style. They had really nice styles, but quite honestly, they're the same styles that House of Lashes has, that Lashes XO have, um... What other one, too? I saw that it's kind of like just the same thing. Um, so I'm pretty sure that all these lash brands are being manufactured by the same people. So maybe... Um, get this bag out of the way. Coco Lashes also uses the same manufacturer because I swear the styles are exactly the same. So I just didn't see the point in getting some lashes that I already have that look exactly like them. So I didn't buy any, even though I was really, really wanting to try out those goddess lashes, but they're seriously the same as the ones I got from Lashes XO and also the Iconics from House of Lashes. But I did pick up some uh, other lashes just for my clients and for my kit. So I got these. These are very similar to the Ardell Demi Wispies. These are Posh Lashes in DW. So just really simple, really wispy. They still add a little extra something. Also, these are a little bit more fanned out. These are from Kara Eyelashes. These are number 43s. And then also from the same line is number 605s. These are really uh, similar to, I want to say, the Temptress Lashes from House of Lashes. Not too sure. They're just really, really wispy on the ends. And then the number 82 lashes. These are... Just kind of like more long on the center part, so they make small eyes look a lot bigger and more round and doe-eyed. So again, these are number 82. And that was it from Lady Moss, so moving on. So another place I stopped at was Beautylish, and they were having a really great deal on Bioderma. Now, I'll be honest, I had never heard of Bioderma before. I feel weird saying it. Bioderma. I've never heard of Bioderma before. Um, so I stopped by just to kind of see like what it was about and stuff, and I was sold on the product. So also, I don't know if it's just like my marketing background, but I'm a huge sucker for like marketing and like sales pitches and stuff. Like, like if I see that you did like a good one, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my money. So I got the Bioderma. Um, it's it's a solution. I got their. <laughs> 
I'm barely noticing that it's all in French, like the first half of it, so I was about to really mess that up. Starting over in the English version. It's the Bioderma Purifying Cleansing Solution. So um, this is basically a makeup remover. Now what sold me on it was the fact that you don't have to wash your face after using this. So if you're working on multiple clients at a time, and let's be honest, not everybody shows up without makeup on. Some girls will still show up to an appointment with makeup already on, which, you know, in a sense it's kind of pointless because you're about to take it off and just reapply it. But I get it, you know, sometimes we forget or we just really don't want to leave the house without anything on our faces. So, what's really frustrating sometimes is the fact that if you use eye makeup removers, traditionally they leave like this oily residue and you have to just go over with water to make sure that takes everything off and you can reapply makeup and it's going to stay intact. Well, with this, you kind of cut out that middle part of having to apply water and rinsing away any residue. This doesn't leave any residue and this solution, the blue one, is made specifically for those with oily skin. Down where I live, my a big part of my clientele has oily skin. It's just common. Also, it's just, I mean, we're in South Texas heat, so it's easier for someone to get really sweaty and oily faster as opposed to any drier climate. And we are not dry whatsoever. So it had a really great deal. It was about $19, 20 I guess, give or take with tax to get this big bottle. This is 500 milliliters. And it also came with this one for free, which is just like a little baby one, 100 milliliters. So this is great for my kit, and this is great for me here at the house. So really, really like this. I did try it today, actually, and it works really great. It has a nice, fresh scent to it, and it feels like you're just like putting cucumber ice on your face like it just it feels really great and soothing next thing I got was a company again I had never heard about but I stopped to kind of inquire about it because I was look I have been looking for something a product like this and I didn't want to make the expense of some of the other products on the market that are kind of similar to this one so this is a brand called Grande Lash I mean, I guess you could say Grand Lash, but they were saying Grande Lash, which I'm a little more comfortable with because, you know, it's like my common language down here. <laughs> uh, this is Grande Lash MD, and it's an eyelash growing serum. Um, it's really hard for me to trust people that promote these eyelash serums. I, first of all, I never wanted to try Latisse because I hear it kind of messes with your eye color and stuff, and that really scares me. Um... And it's just, honestly, I think it's just too expensive. And then there's some other ones that I've seen at Sally's and stuff like that. And you just really don't know what the results are because you, you don't know. Like, you can't talk to someone that's used them because it's rare when people do buy those. So all the representatives for this company were there. They all had beautiful lashes. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. They had gorgeous natural lashes. And they were showing me before and after photos. And it looks really impressive. So... What's also great about it and what sold me was the fact that it originally retails for $60, but at the show it has special pricing of $40, which is a really good discount. Also, they have a 90 days money back guarantee, which I also really appreciated because I told them, like, I don't want to be disappointed because I have tried a lot of different ways to grow out my lashes and I feel like nothing's really worked. Um, so, and I get tired of having to wear false lashes every day. I have lashes, like real lashes, but they're just not as long as I would like them to be. And I'm not talking they need to be like extremely long, but just something to where it looks like I have lashes when I'm only wearing mascara. And my lashes just don't do that for me naturally. So I'm really excited to try this out. I did use it already last night. It was apply it nightly. So I took a before picture. So hopefully in about four to six weeks, you're supposed to see results. I will be able to just tell you if this holds up to its claims. So I'm really excited about this. And you just apply it really easily like an eyeliner. So speaking of lashes, I got some uh, more mink lashes from two companies that I have never tried, but everybody uses them, and I just never had the chance to order from them and just never really went for it, took the plunge. So first pair is from Velour Lashes. They were there. I was really excited because everybody talks about Velour Lashes, and I finally got my hands on a pair, and I just really can't wait to see if they are as great as everyone talks about. So I got the style Wispy Sweet Nothings. They are very natural. Let me zoom in. 
So these are the Wispy Sweet Nothings. They are very natural, lightweight, but they do have a wispy feel to them. So I really like this for kind of like an everyday use. Even though you guys know me, I can do dramatic on a daily basis, so I don't mind <laughs> drama whatsoever. But these are really pretty and simple. Here's the other one there. And then the next lash company is Flutter Lashes. Yay! These are Flutter Lashes, and this is the style. So these are the style Natalie's. These are way more extreme than the other ones. Also still kind of wispy because they have these longer spikes throughout the band. But yeah, these are going to be way more dramatic and I love full fluffy lashes. So can't wait to try these out either. So and then the next vendor and that I was really, really excited about because you hear about this all the time or you hear about this store all the time. But you know, it's an only one famous location. So Ricky's from New York was there and I was really excited because they have a lot of great lines. They have a lot of cool drugstore lines or drug drugstore-ish, you know, lines that I cannot get my hands on here anywhere at a local retailer in South Texas. But anyway, one of the cool things that they did have and I was really excited about because I'm sure you guys have seen all those Instagram videos of people trying out this product. I got the makeup eraser towel, which is just a towel that's activated with water to just remove your makeup so you don't need like soap or anything like that and I just think it's really cool because you can really save on makeup wipes for yourself I still use my MAC ones so for clients but I'm really excited to try this out and see how well it actually removes your makeup the next thing I got from Ricky's was the LA Girl Pro Conceals because Tamana uses these, Tamana from Just Your Face, she uses these all the time for highlighting and contouring and I've just been really curious to see how well these work. I also like the fact that they're very small and portable which I really really need because it's hard to carry around a whole bunch of stuff when you are doing house calls. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try these. I got the creamy beige and the beautiful bronze. So highlight and contour shades right here. Really excited to see how these work out. I also got some more LA Girl products and these I am just flipping out over and I'm so going to order so much more of these colors because this is the most amazing formula for the cost of them or the price of them. These are the LA Girl Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. Oh my god. So about halfway through the day, I went back to the, you know, trade show to go and do another round of shopping. And I didn't give these much attention to when I first passed by it. And then I was like, you know what, let me just kind of swatch these on the back of my hand. So when I swatched them on the back of my hand, I was really impressed with the color. But for me, the color can be all great and stuff. But I do work a lot with people who are brides or they have parties going on and you need to make sure that their lipstick stays on and as a makeup artist you cannot guarantee that their lipstick's going to stay because lipsticks are a wax base more often than not and they're going to eventually start to fade like no matter what. So unless they're like a liquid lip stain like the Anastasia liquid lips then you really don't have any assurance that they're going to stay on for a really long period of time. Well, I had swatches on the back of my hand and then I kind of just left and did some more shopping. It was when I was at another vendor. They had some makeup wipes there and I had tried some of their stuff to swatch on my hand. I was going to just remove it anyway and just remove the whole mess that I had on the back of my hand because you get marked up from like head to toe at that place. And these did not come off even with a makeup wipe. I mean, I was scrubbing. I even got my best friend to like take it off for me. To, or to try to take it off for me and she was like scrubbing and scrubbing and it like did not move. These stay on so well. I am so impressed with these because they're only six dollars. They have a really nice range of colors. I mean maybe the packaging is a little bulky. That's probably the only thing I'm going to say. Um, but other than that, these are super pigmented, super matte, and super long wearing. So the colors I got only there because I just didn't want to go too too crazy because I got some other lipsticks from other lines too. So the first one was Floor. It's actually the one that I'm wearing right now, so I don't need to swatch on the back of my hand for you, but this is matte. It is matte, matte, matte. Also, it dries less tacky than the Anastasia Liquid Lips, so I'm really, like I said, just super impressed with this product. And then the next color I got was a um, baby pink shade here, and this one is called... This one is called Iconic. So this one is like a really, really bright baby pink. Um, it's, it's right here. This is the pink shade. 
So yeah, once this dries on the back of my hand, I'm gonna, it's not gonna come off, like I'm telling you right now. And it dries really fast, which I like, to, I like that so much about these. So I'm really excited and, I mean seriously you guys, if you want those liquid lipsticks, just, you don't wanna like break the bank for them, these are the ones to get. I promise you, promise you, promise you, promise you, you will not be disappointed. You just won't. And then I got this really funky lipstick from Colored Rain. Colored Rain? I always want to say Colored Rain, but Colored Rain. So this is just like a fun lipstick for me to play around with and create some cool, like, more um, editorial-ish looks. And this is the Colored Rain, also liquid lipsticks. And this one is the color Soul. And it's this gray color here. I absolutely love it. The other day I was at MAC and I was really tempted to buy Stone, but I held off on it just because I was like, oh, well, I don't know if I'm going to use it a lot. Well, I'm glad that I waited and I picked up this one instead because it's that same kind of grayish um, color. I mean, it's that one right here. So as you can tell, it's really, really gray, but I think it's just so cool and different. Like, why not step out of the box? I mean, if you wear purple lipstick, you can definitely wear gray. So do not be afraid. Okay, and then also Namie's was there, Namie's from Los Angeles, which I was like ecstatic about because, I mean, you always hear so many cool things about Namie's and they carry a lot of great, great, a lot of great lines. So, first thing I got, nothing too exciting. You guys haven't seen me use this product before. This is my favorite mascara of all time. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. They had it on discount, so of course I had to pick up and replenish the one that I have. It was like $19. You can't beat that for one of these. So next I got two other liquid lipsticks. As you can tell, I'm on a liquid lipstick kick right now because I just really love the concept of them. So the first one I got was from Dose of Colors, which I'm super excited because I, I've never owned anything from Dose of Colors. This is my first Dose of Colors purchase. And I really wanted like a true, true red because I do not have a true, true red matte lipstick. So this one is Kiss of Fire. You guys have probably seen this all over Instagram. This is like your super bright, it has a lot of pink in it, but it mean, it, this is like your super bright cherry red. It's this one right here. Again, this one stays on forever, but it has a really big staining power. So actually earlier I swatched it here because I was showing my mom this stuff. And this, I already washed my hands like multiple times and the stain is still there. That's not a swatch, you guys. That's a stain. So I'm going to have another big one right here. <laughs> but this color is beautiful. This is just a super bright red and I love it. The next one, it can be a little bit of a controversial product, but I'm not going to lie. When I saw these on Instagram, I just couldn't resist because I love this color. Like I love, I live for these types of colors. It's from Lime Crime. It's one of their Velveteens. I had to get it. I just had to. So if you guys, you know, I'm sorry. So this one is one of their new ones, and this one's Faded. They have that new collection, or that new three that they came out with, Bleached, Faded, and something else or other. So this one is Faded, and it's this one right here. It is just the perfect mauve color. I love this color, like, so much. I cannot wait to wear this. Like, it's like a dusty rose mauve color. I mean, oh, I love it. I love it so much. I just... Could it resist? I couldn't resist. I had a moment of weakness. What can I say? Um, okay, this bag isn't from anywhere in particular. This is just a bag that one of the other vendors gave me as like a gift, I guess you could say. And um, there's just like miscellaneous stuff in here from different lines, so let me pick them up. So that really cute accessory line was there at the um, show, um, Breakups to Makeup. I think it's called, yeah, Breakups to Makeup. And they're the ones, I'm sure you guys have seen this all over Pinterest. It's a picture of this clutch, and it says, um, Love raised me, lipstick saved me. And I, I mean, everyone sees that clutch everywhere. If you haven't seen it, maybe I'll leave the picture down below because I'm pretty sure you've seen this clutch at some point. And I never knew where it was from. And then finally, I mean, I figured it out that it was actually from an actual, like, accessory line. And if you're a makeup lover, you're going to really like this line because all of their stuff is related to makeup. So I got this tank top because it's super cute. And it says, it's not you, it's my makeup. And I think that just sums up, like, everything about me. So it's this one right here, and it's really cute. It has a picture of mascara, wand, lipstick, and a brush. So I can't wait to wear this. Also, I'm like a super, like, I love to be, like, in casual-looking clothes. My mom gets mad at me all the time because I'm not someone that wears dresses or, like, really stuffy clothes because I just can't. I honestly feel the most confident when I can be in, like, jeans and 
I'll tell you what my, my favorite combo of an outfit is right now. It's like distressed boyfriend jeans, a tank top, or a simple v-neck with my leather jacket over and I'm good to go. And my Birkenstocks probably. So yeah, nothing like super, super glamorous. But don't get me wrong, I don't mind dressing up because that's fun too. But on a daily basis, that's when I feel the best. I don't, I don't know, that's just what I like. Okay, next thing. I'm really excited about this because this is freaking gorgeous and I cannot, I just, oh, I'm so glad this is in my kit now. Kevin Aquan was there at the show. You hear so much stuff about Kevin Aquan. It's just really pricey. When I saw that they were there, I was flipping out because I just needed to make sure that they had this product. And sure enough, they did. And I was so happy because I finally got it. This is the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting Cream or whatever you want to call it, but it's a cream. This stuff gives you such a beautiful glow. You can use it alone or on top of your makeup or mixed in with your foundation. This is literally like, I mean, it's it's the perfect amount of glow because you can still, if you're oily, you can still use this. Just keep in mind you're probably gonna look more luminous than the average like normal skin person or dry skin. But honestly, the first thing that I think of when I see this is JLo and Brides. Um, brides always want to have that glowy look and I mean you should have that look like you really want to make it look like you're glowing on your big day and um, I mean you can layer on like powder highlight but at the same time you can't put on too much and you can't put it all over the face what I like about this is this is going to give a nice luminous glow to foundation it's really just like a simple cream let me see if I can put it like right here or something so <clears throat> it's just like a simple cream and I think you can kind of see here on the camera, look how this part of my skin that I applied it to is shining a lot more than this side or this side. It just gives this really nice glow. There's no chunks of glitter or anything like that. So it's perfect. It has this really nice yellowy tone to it so you don't look pink or anything. It's just beautiful. It's so good. So I'm going to try it on myself too just in case you have oily skin also like myself. I'll let you know how it works and how it looks after a period of time with or if you have oily skin because I know that's probably like a big concern with some people if you are oily. Another thing that I picked up was the ever famous Ben Nye Luxury Powder. So I got two powders for two different skin, you know, tones. <laughs> and this one is more for someone of my color and maybe even fairer. Um, this is the Luxury Powder in Cameo. I just really, really can't wait to use these to try it out with the baking method. I love my translucent powder, but I have noticed that on some people, and then with flash photography, it can still kind of flash back white. You don't want that. Um, and then also for someone that's a little bit on deeper skin tone to more like your olive and, you know, richer tones, I got the banana powder. Fortunately, they didn't have this nice sifting kind of container anymore in the banana, so I had to get the traditional, you know, shaker bottle, which is fine, but I can't wait to use these because you hear about this all the time. So Model in a Bottle was also at the trade show and they are really um, famous for their setting sprays. I've seen them a couple of times here and there but I didn't get the setting spray because I'm in love with my Urban Decay All Nighter. <clears throat> but what I did get was um, something for lipstick. If you're a makeup artist I highly suggest this. I haven't tried it out yet. I'm gonna try it out tomorrow for sure and let you guys know what I think about it but this is their lipstick sealer. So it's like this little tiny vial of this clear liquid. What the lady was telling me about this was that you can put this on top of any lipstick, whether it be like a matte lipstick, a, you know, um, a shiny lipstick, whatever, and it's going to seal your lipstick. So it makes any lipstick a long-lasting lipstick. So I absolutely love that because even though I have a few of these liquid lips already, not everybody wants that flat finish. Some people do want like more of a satin finish. And I mean, I can't guarantee that their lipstick's not going to go away at some point. This may just ensure that it stays on longer. So I can't wait to try this out. She did say you cannot use it on top of lip gloss. So unfortunately, if you just use lip gloss, this is not going to work on top of it. So I'm really excited to try this out. And I'm I if it works, this is going to be like a forever staple in my makeup kit. I'll always tell me that. Clients always ask me like, what about my lips? Like, what am I going to do? Because I mean, it's going to come off. And I always, I always feel bad because... I wish as a makeup artist you could say like, oh, well, there's this really cool trick that I do with the lipsticks. But unfortunately, there's really nothing you can do with a lipstick. If it's not long-lasting, it's not long-lasting. It's not going to stay. But now with a product like that, hopefully, that is the makeup artist trick now. Okay, eye candy was also at the trade show, and I stocked up on some glitters because 
I don't really like working with glitters. I just personally don't. I, I don't know. It's just not one of my things. But, I mean, as we move on, you know, further into the year, we're going to run into, like, Halloween and also, like, holiday parties and stuff like that. And that's usually kind of the time of year people do want a little bit more of a glitter look to it. So... I picked up some glitters and they had a really good deal going on. They had six glitters and then they gave away a free um gave away a free bottle of their liquid sugar, which is just like a glitter base. So really glad that this came with it because um the people that were trying and demonstrating them on there, I mean it was looking really good, so I'm excited. So I got a few shades here. So this one is caramel apple. It's really like a gold um glitter with just tiny specks of like red and green in it. This one is taffy. This one is like a copper glitter. <clears throat> this one is, let's see, double bubble. It is just a straight up baby pink glitter. This one is twizzle stick and this is just a blue glitter. This one is sugar cane. This one is sugarcane, and this is more of a brown bronzy glitter. And then this one is candy coin, which is just like a gold champagne glitter. So, <clears throat> really excited about those. The next thing I got, and I kind of already forgot where which vendor I got these from, but nothing really like super exciting because they don't really have names on them either. They're just some more lashes, a big stack of them because. You can never have too many, you know, and uh, it saves me a lot of money on having to go buy some lashes every time I have a client, so it saves me a great deal of time, too. Um, oh, this I was really, really excited about. Um, OCC, Opposive, uh, Compulsive Cosmetics, was there, and I don't own anything from them. And this are, these are my first purchases, and I'm really, really happy because um, I got this beautiful glitter. This is the beige glitter. I think you, I mean, you know what? Who, uh, Katie from Les Trilux did a look using this glitter, and it's really, really pretty on the lid. I mean, it's, I'm going to call it a rose gold. To me, it's rose gold color, so this one is super awesome and super pretty. And then I got one of their lip tars, and this one is Black Dahlia. This is like a very, um... Deep Berry. Let's see, It's almost going to look black, but it's that one right over here. I mean, it is dark in the sense that, I mean, it's a deep color, and it's a matte finish, so love this too. Again, uh, more so for like the months that we're about to get in, well, more for like the fall months. Probably going to get a big use out of those kind of colors, so just trying to, it's already, you know plan ahead. And the last thing I got was a really good deal and it was on some beauty blenders. I got this little baggie full of different beauty blenders and um, who was selling this? I forgot what company or what vendor it was that was sell that were selling these. I mean these are actually from Beauty Blender. It was just a store that also sells them as a retail item and this was a really really good package deal. This you not only get just one beauty blender. Keep in mind, the cost of a beauty blender is around $20, I believe. So you get the white one, the classic pink one, the black one, oh, has some, the black one, a micro mini blender. <laughs> These are so cute. I just want to, I also just want to like eat it, but you, know, you can't. Look how tiny. You also got a little bit of the solid uh, by Beauty Blender, their Beauty, their blend, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> their blender cleanser. So, yay! Got something to clean my Beauty Blenders with now. I mean, even though you can clean them with regular soap, but either way, it's cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, I didn't even say the price of all this. So the price of this little package of Beauty Blenders came out to thirty-two, I believe. It was like $32. So that's a really great deal considering you got this many different types of beauty blenders. Almost, almost for the price of one. So a really good savings right there too. And that's pretty much everything that I got. Actually, no, I mean, that is all everything that I got. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if any of you out there are makeup artists and you have yet to go to a trade show like this, 
I highly, highly, highly suggested not only because of the good savings, I also got to step in on a few classes on that first day and honestly it's such a refreshing experience to be around other people in the industry. Where I live there's not too many makeup artists um, that are freelancers. You find a lot of people that work at counters and stuff and that's totally fine too but um, you know, one of the beauties about being a freelance makeup artist and being self-employed is the fact that I have the opportunity to go to these trips because in the past I wasn't able to because of work. You're still in a retail setting and it's not easy to get weekends off and stuff like that. So, I mean, I feel super blessed that I got to finally go to something like this. And uh, yeah, you get to meet a lot of people in the industry. A lot of people that work with these really great lines. A lot of um, educational you know tips and things that you can learn also and a lot of help if you are a freelancer with your professional career how to market yourself because honestly it's one of these kinds of job honestly this kind of job is one that if you don't market yourself in a certain way you're not gonna get anywhere you really have to want to put yourself out there to just try to get your name out there because it's almost, and I don't want to compare it to this, but it's almost like being compared to like a performer. Like, you know, think about all the people that moved to LA to want to make it big in either acting or singing or dancing. You can be the best dancer, but if you're not willing to show what you have and to put yourself out there and to constantly want to better yourself, you're not going to get anywhere. So for me, this was something that I'm really glad that I got to go and see and meet other people in the industry too and just kind of see other professional makeup artists who are giving educational courses and how they work. I mean, anything and everything in my life can relate back to makeup. You know, people ask me all the time how I got into makeup, you know, what age, like how did I start? And it's hard to say because it's been a part of my life literally since I was born. I was born into this world. So I am um, really glad that I'm now finally able to kind of like stretch my wings a little bit and get more out there. So after going to this show, I'm really stoked. I can't wait to go to more. I, I'm really, really planning on going to IMATS in January in LA um, because my mom's already going around that time. So hopefully if the dates fall within the same time period, um, I'm gonna go. I, I really, really want to make it a goal of mine to go, and hopefully, you guys can hold me accountable to that, because it's just, uh, it's, it's like the makeup show, but on a whole different like scale. It's much larger, and if it was, I mean, it can only be better. So, I'm just really glad, and I'm really fortunate that I got to go. That's kind of it to my whole ramble. Sorry, I got off track there. <laughs> But anyway, if you guys like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe. Also, if you guys have tried any of these products or you want to have a review on any of these products, feel free to ask me down below in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Again, sorry for the voice thing. Hopefully, it's still okay with you. And yeah, bye guys.